Well, we've had a lot of reactions so far to, well, not the full detail, but we're getting an idea for what the government's religious freedom or religious discrimination bill looks like. It certainly pared back from some of the initial comments on what it might look back look like. Christian Schools Australia has had plenty of commentary of, over the course of this. The organisation's Director of Public Policy, Mark Spencer, joins me now here in the studio. So you've welcomed this. Uh, why? What, what, what do you see as this changing? How would you sum up what we're talking about here? Well, what we're talking about is the, really the final piece in the, in the Commonwealth's religious, uh, Commonwealth's discrimination protections provision. It's been a long overdue protection, filling the gap for people of faith to make sure that, that they're protected for, from discrimination on the basis of, of their belief. So for, so for schools, specifically, where we are now and if and when this passes, from what we know about it, what changes? So what it will do is, is fundamentally put in place a nationally consistent uh, protection for, for schools like ours uh, and other faith-based schools to be able to ensure that we can employ staff who share our faith and beliefs. That, that fundamental basis of who we are as, as Christian schools is, is making sure that we have people who share our beliefs, can model that belief and can express that belief in their, in their roles in the school. OK, so in that hiring practice, you've got some CVs or a principal has some CVs they're looking at. One person's Christian, one person says um, agnostic. You can say, we're hiring you because you're Christian. That's pretty straightforward. That is pretty straightforward. What about if um, both candidates are Christian and one person says, by the way, um, I'm gay, I've got a partner, that's no problem for you, is it? And uh, for many of our schools, that would be an indication that they don't share the particular faith and beliefs of that school community. And that's not going to be a good fit uh, for that school community. I mean, our schools and, and what the legislation will require if it's passed is for each school to have a, a policy around, a publicly available policy around what they believe, what their expectations are. OK. And then so, make that... Make so your reading of this is you could... A school, a Christian school, could not hire a teacher purely because they're gay? Purely because they don't share our faith and beliefs. Yes, but because they're gay, you're saying that would mean they don't share faith. And they could be Christian but also be gay? In the same way as there are a range of denominations, a range of views within Christendom mm. about a number of issues around sexuality and gender, there are a range of views. Mm. In that particular but case, just to clarify, they don't you, share our beliefs. They wouldn't be from what you believe in this, they could say, we're not hiring you because you're gay, this other candidate is not, we're going to hire them instead. It's not because of, because of their, their sexual orientation, it's because of their religious beliefs being inconsistent, whether it's around sexuality, sexual orientation, whether it's around uh, adultery, whether it's around other practices. Right, but that's the, that's, that's the point. Their sexuality, you're saying, would... You, this, this school would be able to not hire them because of their sexuality? Be because of their beliefs around yes, sexuality but that is, and an appropriate uh, biblical... But that way still comes down to their sexuality? Um, it, it, what it comes down to, and we do have uh, staff in our schools who are same-sex attracted, but live a life that's consistent with biblical principles and biblical teaching. And, and what does that mean? So if someone said, this is my sexuality, but I'll never talk about it, I, I won't... Oh. You know, act on it? What are you saying there? So, so whether it's uh, in, re in relation to those who are same-sex attracted or uh, uh, a straight bloke like, like me who might be attracted to, to women. I mean, it's, the question is not uh, whether you have that, that attraction or temptation, as we'd understand it, in, in, a, in a Christian uh, tradition, but whether you actually act on that or whether you say, I'm going to act in accordance with a set of beliefs that this school has made clear and live according to that those set of beliefs, mm. teach according to those set of beliefs and model those set of beliefs to the school community. Okay, but, so, but, but what that, does that mean in practicality? So in this situation, um, this person uh, reveals their sexuality. The principal says, are you still willing to live um, under our values? What would that mean? Could they be married with the same-sex partner in private and never talk about that in school, never bring their partner to the school? Could they have these separate lives? Is that what you're talking about? Well, I mean, would we really want that situation? That'd be a pretty horrific situation. Well, I don't know, situation. but I'm asking, yeah. no, sure, I'm no, asking I mean, you the, the answer is no. We, we, we wouldn't want someone to, to live that kind of double life. It'd be horrible for them. So, so someone, really someone, could be, someone could say, I'm gay, but I, while I'm at this school, I just won't pursue any relationship. I won't, I won't live that part of my life, for want of a better word. Is that what you're saying? So, so what we're looking for is uh, staff who can uh, ca encapsulate our beliefs, live out our beliefs and model our beliefs. Kids are pretty quick on picking up on, on hypocrisy. Mm. So if they're not fundamentally living out and expressing those beliefs in all of their lives and embracing those beliefs wholeheartedly, 
they're not going to be a good fit for our schools. Right. So uh, I'm just trying to clarify this, though. So that person, they're gay, they tell someone in the interview, by the way, is that a problem for your school? And that principal could say, um, as long as you don't tell anyone about that or make that obvious in any way. That's not going to happen in our, in our schools. I mean, but we, I'm have, asking what, we have what, clear policies what, around that and make it very clear. We want people to be open and transparent and honest with themselves and honest with the school and making sure that we've got staff in our school who are a good fit for our schools and we're a good fit for them because there's lots of other places they can, they can teach so, and so work who, who I feel like have I've that conflict. Of, you were initially saying that them being gay wouldn't preclude them from the school, but you're saying in all practicality it would. They wouldn't be a good fit. If, if someone's living out, if their activity, if their conduct is inconsistent with their beliefs, they wouldn't be a good fit. Right, but if they're... So, whether, so, whether that's so, uh, well, sexual activity or so, other things. So, but if they, if they said, I'm gay, but look, I'm not in any relationship and I've no interest, I'll just put that part of my life aside and be a teacher, then that would be acceptable. Is that what you're yeah, saying? And we do have staff in our schools who, are, are as I said, are same-sex attracted, but understand that that's not what uh, God's best plan is for their life and then they're not acting on, on that attraction. So they have a, some sort of pledge that they won't do that? They, they undertake to live according to biblical values and according to the values of the school. And so if that teacher was then hired by the school and then a year later said, I've found um, someone I do want to share my life with, a same-sex partner, they would then, what, be able to be fired? Well, in that situation, what you've got is they've changed their beliefs around that by, by their actions, clearly, that they've shown and they'd, they'd be saying to the school, I'd no longer share the beliefs of the school. I'm no longer a good fit here. Um, I don't want to stay in this school and, and live a lie, if that's what I now believe. It's best for them to go elsewhere. OK. Um, what about students? So a student, um, you know, you have an application that still works roughly with an application with a student going to a school and they reveal their sexuality. Will they be allowed to be barred from entering the school on that basis? Um, the, the bill really focuses on, on uh, employment of staff uh, and provides that, those, those clear protections. In relation to, to other aspects of, of schooling, I mean, there are currently um, provisions in the Sex Discrimination Act that uh, allow a school to operate and conduct its affairs more broadly on the basis of, of their religious beliefs, including what they teach and how they administer their school. As I've said, uh, as we had discussions previously a number of years ago, none of our schools have ever, ever, have ever expelled students simply on the basis of their, of, their, of their sexual orientation. But would you want that right? What we want is the ability to be able to teach what we believe. Yeah, but let's now, just... OK, I'll get to that in a moment. But what about the right to expel a student? Fifth, let's say they're 15, they say, do you know what, I've been on a journey, I think I'm gay. Would you, would you want a school to be able to have the right to, what, ask them to leave, to expel them? What, what our schools want is the right to be able to say to that child, well, here's what we believe is, is God's best plan for you. Okay, what 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 if, God's... That, that's one thing, but what about expelling them? Yeah, so you, ha you have those conversations with them. But I'm just asking now, about the right, the yeah. legal right to expel them. Yeah, do, now, you, do you see this bill as including that? Because Michaela Cash has said that's clearly not her plan. Yeah, and I don't think this bill ch changes that. Okay. I mean, the provisions in the Sex Discrimination Act are clear. And so and there wouldn't be the right to review. expel. What about, just finally, um, the, the right, if you like, of a, a teacher? You, you mentioned the school to be able to tell them that. Would that include a religious education teacher saying, well, you being gay is an abomination against God? I don't think that the, the bill actually protects that. When you look at the, the provisions around statements of belief, like, they can't be malicious. So you would they consider that be, malicious? They, they can't be inciting hatred or, or, or vilified. So, so it would need I, to be more carefully worded than that. So they could have their view that this goes against their teachings of the Bible, yep. but not in any way that would be malicious offensive. Malicious, incite hatred, vilify or, or uh, okay. not, not protected by the, by the bill, yeah.